New game. Hunt for Red Rock Rover. Hard. Oh, I'm wearing a black... Am I, am I wearing a tux? They changed that. That's, that's funny. This is a game where you have to do everything perfect on the first run, if not you gotta do it all over. The good thing is it's, you have infinite lives. This is known as one of the brutal platformers of the DOS era. It's a whole lot easier to play on this, on the HD remake, because it's... So much smoother. I think the original ran at like 15 frames per second or something. This is at a nice smooth 60. I'm not gonna waste my bullets. Because I only have two bullets, wow. Probably shouldn't have uh, shot at that robo dog either. Whoop. That. Oh yeah. Bullets only give you three ammo instead of five now. And I'm out of bullets. Alright, can't get the dynamite. Restart! Yes, beautiful DOS game sound effects. Apogee was one of the few companies that did the, uh, just made the epitome of PC speaker sound effects. Rather than just random beeps, they actually were pretty clever about it. Make something that sounds like it's more than just one tone. I didn't need to fight him at all. I'll just shoot him a couple times so he can't shoot me. Playing hard mode, so. Thriva? Is that, is that how you pronounce it? Good. To, thanks for joining. Good to see you. Alright, now I'm gonna leave you alone. And I'm not going to shoot the dog. Also handy, you can play with the controller, which I think this game is a lot easier with. I, I When I first started playing this again, I was using the keyboard and the control and alt keys for jump and shoot. Oh shoot. Speaking of shoot. Um, but after a while, I started hurting my wrists. I must be getting old or something. That never used to bother me. So now I'm playing with the controller. We've gotten a bunch of achievements in this game already. I was getting a good hit if I didn't shoot him. Uh, but I, there's still a couple I haven't gotten. Um, one is beating a level in under 60 seconds. Oh, maybe you can do that on uh, custom levels. That's another cool thing this version has, is you can make your own levels. Out of that. 
Whoa! <laughs> Not that far. This is the first level, guys. <laughs> I love that on hard mode I'm wearing a tux. That's so cool. In regular difficulty, you just wear a red jumpsuit. Looks like. This is very James Bond. Keep waiting to get the book sheet. Hey, Farrell! Welcome. Oh, I don't see it because I don't... Dude, can I enable that on OBS? Emote... Can I enable BTTV on OBS? In OBS's little chat thing? Dang, I don't think I can. Yeah, I just created some BTTV animated icons. And... Uh, but you need to have BTTV extension in your browser to see them. Come on, there's got to be a way to do it. It's got the same chat settings window as regular does, I just can't find it. Chat appearance? No. Oh well, it comes up on my stream anyway. <laughs> MIG Fiddle and MIG Drown. Graham playing a fiddle and Graham drowning. MIG for musically inspired gaming. <laughs> I, I can see them on my stream, so... That, that works. That'll do. How are you doing tonight, Feral? We can see them, that's all that matters. Exactly. I am great. Uh, some downtime. So I wanted to play a bit. I've been wanting to play this for a while on stream. Since I got it a couple weeks ago. Need to save all my ammo. There we go. And I finally have an opportunity to do it, so I'm gonna do it. Shoot. Uh, that was dumb. Absolutely dumb. Can't kill this thing, you just have to wait. I failed to destroy the virtual radar dish. Of course I did. Of course I did. Every level you gotta do the same. Uh, collection of things. You gotta find the floppy disk to turn off the lasers, which block access to certain parts of the level, and use it on the computer up there. And then you have to destroy the radar dish, and you have to find the dynamite to open the uh, exit of the level. Am I gonna make it? I'm not gonna make it. Yeah, this is an older game uh, by Apogee. Uh, like the uh, guys who made that, you know, those old games, Biomenace, and mostly platformers. Duke Nukem, the original Duke Nukem. 
This is made in the Commander Keen engine, I think. I got hit there, that was dumb. I'm gonna start over. Seeing as I've already gone through and beaten this game already. This is the remake, by the way. It just released a couple weeks ago. Not a remake, but like an HD version. They added more color to the graphics rather than just EGA and added some music to it. And a level editor in a fourth episode. And if you get the letters SPY in the right order, you'll get 10,000 points. Which is just a bonus, but a fun one. Ah! Jumped too high there. I shouldn't have jumped at all, really. If I stand right on the edge, that spike won't hurt me. Nice. That's the radar dish I gotta destroy after I get the blue key. I want to shoot you, but I gotta save my ammo. I need to destroy that thing, and the hard mode gives you less ammo. I need to destroy that thing, and I need... And I need... Oh, of course. <laughs> I need to kill a bunch of enemies near the end to get at the dynamite, or I'm gonna lose my life. This game takes a lot of patience. But I like it. Okay, wait for you to go. There's a gun turret right there. Some hormones. I have to kill all of these guys. Dynamite! Now I can go. Radar dish is destroyed. Oh, I just... The dynamite can kill me too if I'm too close. <laughs> Finally, one level done. Okay. You can do levels in any order, provided you can reach them. Sometimes there's stuff blocking the way or other levels blocking the way. I don't need to kill you, so I won't. This is my favorite music track in the game, too. It's just so catchy. Gotta get away with not shooting this guy. I usually always destroy these turrets and everything, but... Try to get away with not doing it to save ammo. As long as he can't shoot at me, I'm okay. <laughs> Every enemy... well, enemies can have a few stages. They, if, you sh if they're the secret agent, other evil secret agent looking guy, he'll shoot at you and go really fast. You shoot him once, he'll turn into a blue helmet dude who also shoots. Shoot him again, becomes a ninja. And then he becomes a red soldier, and then this white guy with a little knife. And that's the slowest. Ooh, I wasted a bullet there. We'll see how that how I fare with that mistake. Not enough fiddle, make fiddle. <laughs> he 
music, music, music. I don't have to disk it, I can't do that. Sparks. Oh, I have the green key. So... <laughs> oh, I like that one. Gram with... Gram hype? That's cool. This thing, if you destroy it, it's the same thing as the... I'm gonna have to destroy it, too. It sends these, uh... pieces out in a... horizontally until they... hit the end. Of, hit until they hit a wall or something. Which can be irritating. I have dynamite, I still have to destroy the radar dish. Or did I do that already? No, I don't think I did. Where is it? Oh, I didn't go all the way. Yes, I did. Where is it? Oh, I did do it. Okay. Beat the level. Next one. Yes, I know Decaf Jedi. Is that one of his? Nice. So many people to that have cool icons. Emotes. Close. Robbie the robot there from Forbidden Planet and a slew of other old sci-fi shows and movies. That robot was also in Lost in Space, actually. That wasted a lot of bullets. And one health. I'm not crazy about that. Do I have the floppy disk? I don't have it, so I need to restart. Because I can't go back once I've gone up here. Oh, yeah, I've seen the Jim Walls one. Bester and the Gabriel Knight one. I never saw the the uh, the Graham one. I like that one. <laughs> right, I get the red key, Whew. so I can go through this door, which I never did. Oh, spike! Health is too valuable. Can't not get it. Okay. Get okay, a spike. There. Now this stupid thing reverses your controls, which is irritating as well. This game lives to irritate you. Dude, that's not going to happen. I have to kill him. Oh, come on. The controls are making me over-anxious. The, the reverse controls. Let me pick up that question mark. Going to be looking for a while to eat. Well, enjoy your food. Don't drown. <laughs> Yes, water is deadly in this game too, so... Oh, stupid. Very hard. Um, yeah, as a kid, uh, I didn't get that far either. Shoot, 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 shoot! It's definitely a challenging game. Like, this should have been a Nintendo game hard. <laughs> Gotta do everything in exactly the right order. Oh, I keep messing up on where that spike's gonna appear. I'm playing on hard mode too, which is an added difficulty not in the original game. And only allow gives you less ammo and 
it only gives you two hits before you die instead of three. There's an achievement to get through the a whole episode without getting hurt on hard difficulty. I'm probably not going to achieve that. There it is. Yeah, I'm going to have to kill this guy. Okay, my controls are back. That's good. I don't need to kill that guy. Just a waste of ammo. Also, I'm streaming at 30 frames, but this game runs at 60, and it's really nice. No, I don't need to take that with me. What am I doing? Alright, I have the disc now, so... Oh, I do need this one down here, though. I can outrun his bullets. That's good. Okay, there we go. There's also an achievement to get every magnifying glass in the game, which is all kinds of fun. Whoa, waste of bullets. Don't like that. If you screw up on one thing, it doesn't it doesn't tell you you failed, you have to do it all over again. So if I push this off the platform, I'll not be able to beat the level. Let's put it just enough over there to get that. Oh, I must have got the letters out of order. Whoops. There's also an achievement to destroy an enemy with the dynamite you place at an end of level, but I've already gotten that achievement, so I'm just going to kill him. There's points for not getting hurt, which is fun. Oh shoot! I should restart. <laughs> But I won't. All I'm gonna have to do is that, yeah. Just go over a little bit to get the platform to come. Some of these uh, music tracks are based on, uh, like, spy movies and stuff. I'm not sure if this one's a reference, but I really like the theme. Ah! Oh, can't avoid that that close. Okay. Oh, I made it. I made the shot. Nice. Here we go. We're in a good place now. There's a fake out down there where you jump on that one platform and then the gun shoots and unless you go back there's no way to avoid getting hit. And it seems you, the game makes you want to advance, kind of goes against the grain of your instincts. That's the type of game this is. Oh, the spikes, the spikes. Okay. Over, jump back, jump over. Hey, okay. get into a rhythm after a while. Just because I don't want to get hit. Oh, 
Okay. Oh yeah, this part. Just like there. This has to be pushed down that side to get the dynamite, so you can get out again. Have the S. So many hazards. Oh, oh, I almost got hit by that one. There we go. So stressed out. Go back up this way. Then we have to go all the way back this way just to get out. There we go. Oh, wait. There's nothing I can do here. The exit must be back that way. Oh yeah, there's the laser. Oh no! No! I thought I could make it. Now I gotta do it all over. <laughs> the rocket. Jump over the rocket. Some hazards kill you instantly. Some just take a health point away. I didn't even know I was here. Ooh, made it. The points. Give me all the points. I might as well go turn off that computer now. Oh, can't do that this way. So I don't have to come back this way. I have to turn off the laser. Oh, I just turned it off. I need. It. Third time's a charm. This is the third time, right? Who are we kidding? This is the first try, right? Secret agent. I have lots of good memories of the original. Yeah, me too. And I love how much easier this one is to play. The original was a little bit slower, and the frame rate was so low it made timing things a little more difficult. Plus, I like the music in this one. I just kind of wish that they would have, for the when they redid the graphics and added more colors, I kind of wish that they had given it more of a VGA gradient style uh, facelift than just kind of replacing the colors. So, like, something more like what was a good VGA platformer back in the day? Like, is Jazz Jackrabbit VGA? It is, right? Anything is first try, exactly. But yeah, I would have loved to see more gradients. It looks great though, it does. I'm not, not hating on it. What? <laughs> 
Also, I got this game for free because I was on a streamer, watching a streamer play this game on YouTube by the name of DOS Gamer T, the Dutch streamer, and he was one of the beta testers of this game. Anyway, every now and then he did a, a spin the wheel thing and uh, people could enter and if they their name was spun on, they'd win the game. My name wasn't spun on, but Apogee joined the stream and said, and they entered like three times, three or four times, and uh, what am I doing over here? This is not the way to go. And they said if, if it landed on them, they'd give a, a free key to anyone who entered that round. And they did, and I got a free key. I would have bought it eventually. There we go. FPG's great. Hocus Pocus. That's exactly the example I was trying to think of. VJ Mode X. If it looked a little more like Hocus Pocus, like that much gradient and stuff, I'd, I'd, be, I'd be totally in love with it. Uh, shall we save? Let's go number six. I remember these levels so well. I've come uh, very close to getting about halfway through the new secret level, so there's that. Oh, you... I'm wasting ammo left and right. Oh! Three bullets down the drain. That's... that's that hurts. I don't think I can survive with these guys, though. Well, I probably could, but I don't want to. I consider that worth the ammo. Unless I really don't have enough ammo at the end of this. Oh, I, I came down here too late. Too early. I have to get the sunglasses to see the invisible platform so I can get back out. Otherwise I'm stuck down here. Step aside, Sierra. This is the real dead man walking. <laughs> Game design. Oh, I thought I'd have enough time. Those things shoot just a little bit faster than you expect. Seems like. Oops. I'm too... too eager. Can't be too greedy in this game. Shot off there. There we go. So careless. Must get every point, or at least try. Alright, let's try getting this these keys without Yeah, we can do this without killing them. Let's save the ammo. Wait till they pass. And then get the barrel. Sunglasses. Are they remaking Bio Menace now too, or did I imagine that? Um, I don't think it's been announced. I know they're doing Cosmic, Cosmos Cosmic Adventure, and uh, what was the other one?
Monster Bash. Uh, as Vile Menace, though, would be great. I hope they do. It's too bad they couldn't do Duke Nukem, too. Blue key, I'm gonna need blue key. No. Uh, watch for spike. Everything has to be timed right. They'll probably get to Biomenace. If they're doing all the EGA ones like this, they'll get to Biomenace. Those fans on the ceiling will hurt you. Oh boy. I'll be the robot. Ooh, I didn't think I was gonna make that, but I did. This is going to be tricky. I don't want to kill him because I don't want to waste the ammo. down just to turn it around and go back through the spikes. They did this on purpose. This is very clever design. Back up to the exit. Seventeen bullets. I should probably kill this thing. No, nah, so close. Old school, nice to see you. Old School J, evening to you as well. This looked like a lot of fun this morning. How are you enjoying it? I love it. I uh, I got it a couple weeks ago and I beat the first four episodes. The first, the only four episodes. But now I'm playing it on hard mode. It's cool when you're on hard mode. They change. He changes his clothes from a red jumpsuit to a tux. It looks like like James Bond. <laughs> Also, I haven't beaten the secret level yet, but it is brutal. I've gotten almost halfway through the secret level, which is on episode 4. Yeah, I'm, I'm loving this game. It's so much easier to play than the original. With the increased frame rate and the... it's a little faster. And, um... You can use a controller, which works just fine for me. Usually I'm good for keyboard, but uh, I start when I first got this version, I was playing on the keyboard, you know, the classic controls, arrow keys, control and alt. But um, it started hurting my wrists, so with my hands being in this position so long, so it's easier like this with the controller, so that's what I'm doing. Oh, well, whatever. I won't get the 10,000 points, I don't care. Not that much. I should get the blue key, though. Spikes. Beast's no. advantage, <laughs> yeah. You unlock CGA mode. Can you unlock CGA mode? Can you do that? I didn't know about that. I specifically remember Apogee saying that they you can't switch graphics to the original EGA, but is there a CGA mode really? I want to see if I can hook my GOG version up to the Steam Workshop level faucet. Oh yeah. That's where all the good stuff is, right? There's an unlockable CGA mode. Yeah, I'm. I sure hope, sure hope there. I'm gonna kill this guy. It's really annoying. 
cost me my life last time. I just don't want to have to deal with him. He's two, two tiles tall, and he shoots. Oh no. I think I just dead-ended myself. I couldn't have pushed that right into the mine. This track is so groovy, it makes me want to do a, a cover of it on guitar or something. Remix. Very groovy. It's kind of disappointing though that they have an unlockable CGA mode and not a mode to go back to the EGA graphics. That's a little disappointing. Dad was talking about it on Twitter unless they were trolling. I'm susceptible to being misled when it comes to CGA. <laughs> oh, that's possible. They might have been trolling. You never tell with those guys. Oh, I can't go down there yet. I almost jumped down there. <laughs> I need the sunglasses. Or the... whatever. The glasses that help you see invisible platforms. Have it. Like. Nothing chance it. I need a blue key as well. Three for the spikes. Timing. Secret Agent looks like Duke Nukem, and that guy looks like Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> My dynamite. And here we go. They just include these tunes as OGG MP3 or are they emulating OPL? I think they're digital files, but um, the composer James Paddock, who did music for uh, John Romero's Sigil, he did the MIDI music for John Romero's Sigil as well, the, the uh, unofficial official fifth episode for Doom. Um, and he also did some custom music for Duke It Out in DC. Anyway, he did this soundtrack, and he definitely used original OPL uh, generation. I don't know, he probably didn't use like a, original hardware, but he definitely was using an original FM tracker or something. But I think what's included is probably just digital files, if I were to have to guess. Oh, that sucked. Every platformer like this always has a level where there's just... Duke Nukem 1 had it too, where there's just like tiles... tiles of blocks like this and you have to jump... between them without really knowing what's underneath.
I was sure there was a a money bag that drops there. It's the we've run out of ideas school of mapping. <laughs> yeah, it is. It's all about jumping properly. If you jump wrong, you're dead. Which is a little bit of artificial difficulty. And this song, this so every song I think is a reference to something. There's a Mission Impossible reference song somewhere. This one is very clearly Batman. Even though it's not exactly a secret agent show. There's the money. Yeah, I'm gonna kill him. Or at least slow him down. Ah. Oh, I got the P before the S. Oh, that sucks. Yeah, I'm gonna have to kill this guy. Why was I thinking I could get away? It's not. It's now. So we have a red key. Yep, up here. Through that. If you, if you jump on the edge here, you can't get hurt by the spikes. Pro tip. <laughs> levels of time is hard, okay? <laughs> like the clip show of levels. Cars. Oh, this is the level that has the... Okay. There was an achievement to get uh, Confusion and Half Speed at the same time, and they're both in this level. There's the Half Speed. You don't want to pick that up. Why yet? I like... I like adding the added achievements to these old games. Gives you an extra reason to keep playing them. I've gotten... You can't see them when you're inside. Can I do this one? No, you won't see my steam overlay. Okay, oh well. I don't know why I was just waiting there. Might as well just kill him. This song is the most apogee to me. It sounds like something from Cosmo, or even Commander Keen. Cosmo's Cosmic Adventure. Just happy and cheery and very friendly sounding. I want them. Oh yeah, I forgot, you can actually jump and grab the... Some of these clouds you can jump on. In the original, in this one it makes them, differentiates them a little bit so you can see which clouds you can jump on and which you can't. In the original, they all look the same, so it kind of made that part a little easier actually. Okay, I do need this. Thing. Maybe not. Oh, I can jump. Okay. Go back. So the tunes in this were giving me Blakestone vibes, which seems appropriate. Yeah, I think 
I think James actually went back and uh, used some of the same OPL... What would you call them? Waveforms? Instruments? That, uh, that some Apogee games used. I definitely recognize that guitar patch from Duke Nukem 2, for instance. Alright, now the shoes will make us run really fast and jump really far. Which is the only way to get up here and kill that, or destroy the radar dish. Where are we going? I forget where the exit is. Ooh, that was a close one. Ah, oh, here it is. Oh, I should have died there. Almost made it through without getting hurt. That's okay. Glorious PC speaker cacophony, though. <laughs> yes. Oh, I got the P. Ah, uh, it's early. I'll restart. What's down here? Let's go down here first. Can I jump over this and leave? I can't. I, did, I was too scared to try that as a kid, with the slow computer and the slow frame rate, but, uh, it seems okay in this instance. Oh, darn. Right. Okay. Oh no, I need a green key. Okay. Man, really a lot of bouncing around, jumping around. Going back and forth. Spikes? It's down here. Just a dude. Oh, money. I'll take that money. I'll take three points. We deal with you. And this one is Mission Impossible, obviously. Oh, I got the P again. What oh, Frack is great, too. I'll just describe this as Mission Impossible Elevator Music Remix. <laughs> That's a great way to describe it. Oh, I didn't do the computer. Where is the computer? Oh, I gotta go in here. Oh, the... <sighs> Man, those are very... Efficiently placed, aren't they? No way I was avoiding that. So just to think otherwise. That was not a big deal. I'll get that until I get the S, which is... Ooh, hello. Down there. Oh, I almost went down there again. What's wrong with me? In the fourth episode, they get really clever with it, and um, they they have these destructible blocks that will that can be destroyed by you shooting at them. But some blocks are in such a position that you can't shoot at them, like from above or below. 
So you have to get those turrets that fire from above to shoot it for you without getting hit yourself. They really get creative in the fourth episode. No, nope, I gotta go this way. Do I? I don't have a key. No, the laser's off, right. I love that sound. It's just the best PC speaker explosion sound ever. Oh, the spike. I just remembered as I was landing on it. Get the P. At least I'll get 10,000 points. That's all the good that'll do me. <laughs> Oh, 15,000, not 10. My bad. Oh, I was sure that would hurt me. Did you see that? My hair went right through that. Usually if something nicks a, a hair on your head, you get hurt. Kind of surprised I didn't kill him. I need to kill this guy. All right, I think we've done this whole area. Get this little one here. One of the rare platform games where you used to explore things slowly and wait things out. Can you imagine how evil the countdown timer would be with a time limit for each level? I'm glad this doesn't do that. I mean, it's a blessing anyway that they give you infinite lives. Even even games like Cosmic and Biomenace would give you lives, right? Commander Keen. One in time. I'm gonna have to kill him though, there's no way I can avoid him. Get him! Ah! Oh. Waste of a lot. It's funny, I have to wait till the shield's open, but I can shoot him in the back of the head. <laughs> that doesn't make sense. Now I gotta push this thing all the way through here. Because I can't turn it around unless I hit a wall. All on purpose. Oh, you get an achievement for this too, stacking one on top of the other. Let's take both, why not? The original had a lives counted. No, it's health level. I have it here too. It's down at the bottom right there. Yeah, there's infinite health in the original. Or infinite lives. There's ammo here, I'll just... Jump over him so I'll kill him. This is one you can't avoid the spikes on because it's so narrow. But I can't go back down so I better have everything by the time I get here, which I do. If you do things out of order, you can really screw yourself in some of these levels. Uh, fortress, maybe. Oh, I remember this one. Whoops. Oh, 
It was an achievement to get all the flags. Oh, that is that is evil. Not allow me to get that bag of money. That? Anytime there's ammo, I'll go ahead and shoot them. You gotta be kidding me. I'm gonna have to kill this thing too. Eventually you get rapid fire power-ups for your weapon and you can shoot faster, more bullets at a time type of thing. Oh, I thought there was a spike there. I must have imagined that. And I don't have the disc yet. I gotta go all the way around. <laughs> Does this one still kill your momentum when you hit the ceiling? Probably. Can't think offhand whether it does or not, but probably. Oh, I made it. Why? Where's the disc? Here, just the floppy. Did I miss it? Yeah. I just missed it. Where is the floppy disk? Do I already have it? Because it's not showing on my HUD there. It's a floppy disk. Where is it? Oh no! <laughs> and now I'm stuck. Oh well. You just walked under it. Did I? Oh, it's right there. I see it now. Could have avoided this. Take full responsibility. Feel silly. That money bag this time. Well, I had gotten hurt here anyway, and I'd rather do this again. Okay, I'm hitting the ceiling and I'm still going, so... I guess not, it doesn't kill your momentum. If that's what you meant. And... Still can't go through Push that over. Levels aren't really that long, it's just... It seems shorter than it is. It seems like it should be shorter than it is because of all the backtracking you gotta do sometimes. People shouted, where is the floppy disk in 2021? Me? <laughs> People who played this game. Yes. Yes. Oh, that bugger. I was doing pretty good, too. that anymore. We're on the home stretch. Screw up. Let's 
stupid turret up there might get me. Oh, money. I'll take that. I'll take that monies. Yes. I have a stack of 30 floppies at my desk right at this moment. Nice. Makes things a little easier for certain jumps. Good fix. Yeah, that's good. I didn't I didn't uh, remember that from the original the killing momentum thing. That makes sense to fix something like that. I get a bunch of floppy disks in boxes. Oh, what was the order of operations for this again? Up here first, I believe. Yes. Now this, you can't uh, fall down, you gotta go down this way. Oh, I'm not supposed to be here yet. Never mind. You didn't see that. Nobody saw that. Didn't happen. That'll make sense, though, if you did hear it <laughs> when I get back there. Yes. Oh, I need the blue key. Ooh, let's go get that. Oh, nope, that's a spike. Played through this quite a few times. So I can't fall down through there, so I have to fall this way. So I can jump back up this way. There we go. Run up here. Moving on. Ah, oh, stupid. So stupid. There's so many things to keep track of, you just can't possibly remember them all. All of the time. Okay, there's an achievement for just... So I used to do this as a kid too, and I love this. They made this an achievement. I might have already gotten it. There it is. Coffee Jacuzzi. <laughs> I love that they made an achievement out of that. I used to do that all the time. This is like the Apogee equivalent, or the secret agent equivalent, of putting the cursor, the, the crown cursor from King's Quest on everybody's heads. And I wasted a bullet for no reason. know this existed. I was just known of Crystal Caves. Oh, really? Yeah, we had, um, growing up, we had both. I, I had a Game Fest CD. I think both of them were on, were on it. Crystal Caves and I had two Game Fest CDs, actually. There's no reason to go down here. Probably some falling money bags or something. I don't want to deal with it. Oh, I got the rapid fire. So I can shoot two at a time now. Oh! oh, I was doing so well. Yeah, all those Apogee games, um, I think pretty much all of them were on the Game Fest CDs, demo, demo CDs, full of shareware. But I'm pretty sure we had a floppy for the shareware version of Secret Agent. Secret Agent, um, Commander Keen, I think. What was another one we had? Jill of the Jungle, that was one we had on disc. I still have them all somewhere. I didn't, do I get the sunglasses? Oh yeah, I have to to get up here. Yeah, there they are. There's the platforms. I also put them on magazine covers frequently. Yeah. Yep, that was another one. We have a bunch. I have a bunch of PC gamer and E E two. We know about E three. It was E two. Um, 
demo disc CDs. I have one for a few months for different various years. There's one PC Gamer one we have. There's a CompuServe one I have. I don't think that's a shareware disc though. I think that was just software. Or maybe even an internet package demo or something. Dial-up. Shout out for people who remember dial-up. No hope of me jumping over him. Oh, oh. Should have followed me that. I forgot about that spike again. It's a good thing I missed it. <laughs> Alright, uh... Do I have the dynamite? I don't. Where's the dynamite? I can't go up here. Did I miss it? Did I miss it? Or do I have it? I thought it showed everything in the... in the, in the HUD there, but... No, I don't have it. I screwed up. Dial-up was the stuff of nightmares. Tying up my home phone line for 24 hours to download a 20 megabyte file for only to find it was corrupted. Oh. I, I, we had such a slow modem. Um, well, we had a 14.4, and then we had a 56k, but then something... Something was wrong with it? Maybe it wasn't 56k though. And it would only go at like 33.6 or slower. Speeds. And uh... That was quite irritating. We couldn't get the full speed that we were promised. <laughs> but I remember downloading like a one megabyte file. It took like an hour. Or two megabytes. That was the days of uh, scouring File Planet for various game patches and, and uh, game modes. Game modes. Game mods. Sometimes in the later years. Uh, it's a spike. Alright, I gotta figure out where that disc is. The whole level is blue, so it's the same color as the floppy, so I probably missed it again, same way I missed the other one. It's a spike. Okay. Floppy's gotta be in one of these rooms. Or the floppy, the dynamite. There it is up there. I keep saying floppy. Floppy, the flop, the dynamite's not the same color as the level. <laughs> I'm wrong about that. Oh, plain chicken with the dog. <laughs> Gotta go back for that after I get this key. I didn't do that before. They pack those little rooms full of animating tiles and stuff. It sometimes camouflages everything. Oh! Okay, I have the dynamite now. Back to the Y. And then we we'll call this a level. Perfect. All right. All right. We've done all these. I don't think we have very many levels left for this episode. Saved, so let's do that one.
remember which way I'm supposed to go first, so let's try this way. Oh, not this way. <laughs> I just noticed that laser beam. Okay, blue key. Oh, that's a Y. Don't want that yet. But that's where the exit is, that's good to know. The safe token mechanic from All Demons Must Go to Hell. Is it? Huh. I still haven't played All Demons Must Go to Hell. Uh, Space Quest Historian's latest Adventure Jam game. I shouldn't have wasted my ammo on that. When I play a normal difficulty, I just want to destroy everything. And by episode 3 and 4, I was running out of ammo. So I can only imagine... Oh, stupid. I can only imagine how this is going to be on hard when I get there. Oh, I'm stuck down here. Up here, I mean. Okay, floppy, good. And there's the S. I got that door. Ooh, got it. <laughs> Something I wouldn't have gotten had I kept jumping there. I don't need to go. Yes. Oh my god, again. Where is the S? It's yeah, it's down there. Okay. Don't get any letters until I get down there. Sunglasses, I believe. Uh, the glasses. I keep calling them sunglasses. Shades. Let's just call them shades. The secret shades. I got the P again, didn't I? <laughs> oh, I got hit too. Okay. How do I get down there? Oh, I gotta jump over. Okay. Whoa! I didn't even know there was a 
Did I? Yeah, I did. Yeah, here we go. You save scum this version. You cannot. You can't save in the original either in, in the middle of the level. You have to save on the map. Unless you're talking about like DOSBox save states. Oh, I'm gonna have to kill him. This is a red herring. You can't actually reach. Oh, you can. Never mind. In the original, I don't think you could because you hit your head on that where the time is. Unless you can just jump right over it. But in the original, I remember distinctly having to jump on on this cloud from the first platform. <laughs> Remember this level? I don't want to shoot that thing. I'm almost certainly going to get hit. Oh, I didn't get hit. Awesome. Don't get the Y. Because... We'd rather have full points. can't jump over there. That's for later. Shoot. <laughs> this is gonna be difficult. Okay. So possibly the only game I've seen where enemies downgrade every time they're hurt. Yeah, that's... I thought that was really cool. Oh, here's the key right here. And it's very satisfying when you just keep shooting and avoid getting hurt. Getting killing them all. I got the pee. Oops. Oh well. Don't have a blue key yet. Okay. Let's go this way. These levels have a very, uh, almost Dr. Seuss quality to the design, so it's like a, like, not so much a maze, but a, a it's, it's very interesting, it was very interesting to my, uh, six-year-old brain, anyway. I would have gotten so many points. If you get SPY in the right order and then fall down and get all those Ys, you get each one is 15,000 points. But I didn't get them in order. Well, up. Gotta go back around. Did I have to go around at all? Probably did not. Um, oh yeah, the exit's up here. Right here. That was a fast level, actually. 
wonder if that's one of the ones you could do the 60 second achievement in. Oh, oh, don't want to get the Very clear memories of playing this just a couple weeks ago. Dang it. Ugh. Looks like a joystick. It's interesting though, the animation of those turrets, or whatever they are, uh, the treads are spinning the wrong way. And I think it did in the original too, and they just... They just kept that. In the remake. Both the turrets, the bottom and the top ones. Always spikes where you least expect them. Oh, this gives me a chance to do it right now. Nice shiny floppy disk. Heck yeah. And I got hurt again by the same dumb spike. My own dumb fault. I think those red guys were holding like the police batons, but now I think they might be like kendo sticks or something. Oh no! Can I still get it? Yes, I can. Okay. Thought I missed that. Not gonna mess with that. No spikes here, surprisingly. Last level for the episode. Now there's a tradition with this game that all the final episode, all the final levels of the episodes are all the easiest. This level is not that difficult at all. It's just literally these um, brick platforms. I'm waste all my ammo now because there's no more levels after this. They definitely didn't uh, continue that tradition into the fourth episode, though. It's definitely more difficult. Actually, there's a 
kind of a nice surprise at the the last level of the fourth episode. But I won't blow it. added this thing here where you can take a boat to the next. So, congratulations, 006. Oh, I got an achievement for unlocking hard mode. You have successfully destroyed the first DVS headquarters and retrieved the first blueprint. I wonder what DVS stands for. Using the jet raft the Bureau hid on the island, you speed your way to the second Highland Fortress. Once there, you must overcome new dangers and traps to secure the second blueprint to the Red Rock Rover weapon. And they animated the final scenes too, which is a nice touch. See how much cooler this would have been in like color cycling VGA though? Like, you know what I mean? Oh. GG, yeah, GG's all around. It's a nice shot. Okay, that'll be a day. Uh, thanks guys for watching me play some Secret Agent and a little bit of Silver Balls.